Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to cut out your skimmer and do all the folding, taping, and gluing. Um, so you should have a colored skimmer at this point. This is my um, lovely skimmer um, named Eat My Dust. Okay, so I've colored my main body and then the two fins, and then it was optional if you wanted to color your air scoop. I did not. So the first step is you are going to cut out the outside of all of your pieces. So following the solid lines only, cut the outsides of these pieces. Make sure you do not cut on any dotted lines at this point. So go ahead and cut out your skimmer on the solid lines now. apologize this camera it's kind of hard for me to film and cut and do all these at the same time so if this is a goofy angle I apologize but you can see I'm just cutting on these solid lines to start with that's my first piece Okay, notice that all my dotted lines are still in there. Start with the fins. Okay, I kind of missed my line there a little bit, so I'm gonna straighten that one up. So I've got one fin done. So I'm gonna do put out my air scoop next. Cutting on those solid lines. Okay. So you should have, I've got some scraps here, but you should have your four skimmer pieces, your two fins, your air scoop, and your main body. Um, so I have all of those pieces cut out. The next step is to now cut on these two, we had three inch lines here. So on this solid line and this solid line, I'm going to cut. Do not cut past the solid lines, um, just cut on the solid lines. So it's going to look like this. So I've got kind of the two cuts there now. Okay, now that we are done with cutting, now we're ready to score our lines. To score your lines, you will need a ruler and a pen. So grab those now if you need them. And the trick to scoring is that this is going to make folding these lines a whole lot easier. So we have three different dotted lines here on our main body. We've got one, two, three. And then we have two dotted lines on our uh, air scoop. So we are going to score all of these. So to score these, you're going to take your ruler. I'm gonna line it up with my dotted line. So we can kind of see that here. So I'm gonna line up my ruler with that dotted line and then with a ballpoint pen. Uh, ballpoint one pen works best. Uh, pencil kind of work, not really. Definitely not a marker. It's not going to be hard enough. And all I'm going to do I'm going to kind of, using my ruler to keep my line straight, I'm going to rock my pen back and forth coming down this line, and this is going to give me a really straight line when I go to fold this. So you can do that a couple times, okay, and then that's probably good enough. And then I'm going to do that for all of my dotted lines. So you guys can go ahead and do that now. Same thing, line up your ruler, kind of press down really hard with your pen, to show you what I'm doing and you will kind of see this line show up if you're pressing so hard that your pen starts to break then you're pressing too hard so I did that one there and now I'm gonna do this one here okay and then last but not least we're gonna do the same thing on our air skimmer so use that ruler to get a nice straight line oops 
press down hard. That's the key point here. Pressing down hard with that pen so you push in the paper, which makes a really nice place to fold. So do the same here. Okay, so I have all my dotted lines scored. Now the reason we do that is here on my air scoop, I'm now gonna fold these down. So what that looks like is I'm gonna kind of press on this and you'll see how easily that folded. And I have a nice sharp 90 degree corner here. So again, I'm gonna do that same thing here. I'm gonna fold it down and you'll see we end up with a really nice air scoop, okay? On our main body, so again, fold it down. I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna kind of push against it. Um, sometimes students sometimes like to fold it upside down and then now you can fold it up. That sometimes makes it easier too. Whatever you need to do, okay? And that creates that nice, so that one didn't go quite as straight. It's gonna be a little crooked that, there in the back. But then I have this nice sharp corner I'm going to do the same on this side. Okay, since I have it upside down, I can fold it up. Can I get a nice fold on that? Ooh, that one folded really nice. Okay, so then now I have my body. You can see I've got this gap underneath of it, and that's exactly what we wanted. So that's how you fold these. So score them first, then fold. Now we're ready to start taping. So I'm going to pull out my tape dispenser here. And the thing we want to remember when we're taping is we're trying to tape this back box oh i forgot to fold this sorry make sure that one folds as well um, but we want to make sure that this is at an angle kind of like a ramp going down um, so we don't want it to be flat in the back if that was the case we wouldn't have cut it we'd want it to have this angle to it so the easiest way i find to do this is you're going to pull out a piece of tape that's about as long as this square um, you don't want to go longer but you also don't want to go too much shorter so I'm going to pull out a nice piece of tape for that. And then I'm going to take this tape and I'm going to peel, slide that out of the way, peel that back so it's out of the way. And then I put the tape, I like to describe it as like half on, half off. And I'm going to kind of smooth it down there. Um, so what you can see is it's on, but there's also that section there that's off. I'm going to just gently pull that section back. Um, so the sticky side is up, so it's sticking to my fingers. I'm gonna bring this piece back so that it's straight up and down. So it's kind of like the walls of a bedroom. I'm gonna hold it there really well. And then I'm gonna let go of the piece of tape because now what I can do is I can now go through and I'm gonna really stick that tape to that there. So it looks like that. So we have that kind of ramp direction to it, but it is stuck to both of those pieces. So I'm gonna flip this around and you guys can watch me do that again. I'm going to peel off a piece of tape about as long as that square there. And then I'm going to stick it half on, half off of this square piece. I'm gonna pull this one out of the way. Notice that it, it can kind of curve back and then get my piece of tape on there. Smooth that piece of tape down. Peel the tape back. It's kind of tricky to do. Okay, so I'm gonna peel that tape like this and then I'm gonna bring that piece up and down like the wall of the room and then I'm going to really kind of stick my tape and I had tape kind of sticking up top here I can just kind of curl that over but that's how you do that back and it's got that nice kind of ramping motion to it so go ahead and do that now uh, rewatch if you need to see how to do it the next step is going to be to attach my fins okay we want we're attaching the fins to this back square section as well um, we want the tall part all the way at the back end. So this is kind of my front end. We want to tape or to glue, not tape, glue these here. So I'm just going to start by you know, lining up so I know exactly where I want it. All I need is glue kind of down here along the bottom. So I'm going to take my glue stick. And we don't need a ton of glue. We just want to make sure we have enough. So I kind of like same like what I did with my scoring, kind of a gentle back and forth. And then the thing with glue sticks is you always need to hold them longer than you think. So I'm just gonna glue that and then I'm going to just hold it kind of here for 10, 20 or 30 seconds. I won't go the full 30, otherwise you guys would just have to sit here and watch me hold it. Uh, but it is good practice to kind of hold that tight and give it time to dry, okay? So that's kind of how that one started. I'm gonna do the same on my other side. 
it's always good to kind of line that up so you know exactly where to put your glue. Bring it down and then apply the glue only along the bottom here. Just like that. Oops. And then we'll stick it right here. Kind of hold it tight. Kind of press all along the sides so it sticks everywhere. Okay. And then that's my fins. Okay, so this should be fairly up and down if you've gotten everything pretty strong. The last part that I need to attach is my air scoop. So the thing about the air scoop is when we drew it out, the front of the air scoop is smaller than the back. So front is the small side, back is the big side. And we are going to get this air scoop in here at the front of our car. So for reference, my fins are back here. We're gonna be attaching it all the way up here at the front. And we want a, if I can get this turned here, we want a really small gap here. So what you'll notice is here in the corner how that piece is all the way at the top and then we can see it ramps since we had it kind of at an angle, it's going to go that way. So the easiest way I find to attach this is let's add glue onto one side of it. So I'm gonna, if I can get the first side glued in really well, it makes it easier to do the other side. So I just kind of ran over that edge a couple times. I'm then going to just kind of flip this over, so I'm working on the back side. Again, make sure you're opposite your fins. So my fins are way in the back. This is gonna go way up here at the front. I am going to get this all the way at this front edge here, and it's really, really narrow there. And then I think it helps if I just kind of put it on its side like this, because now I can, oops, <laughs> my glue's on the other side though, so I have to do it this way, okay? So I, if I have it on its side, Apologies, get it all the way to the front. So it's all the way at this front edge. I can see it there, the skinny sides at the top. And then I'm just going to kind of hold it, smooth it down really well right here. One thing you can tell it's correct, since it's supposed to be at that kind of angle, we can see that happening here, but I'm getting it as glued up as high as I can. So I saw it come came down a little bit in the front. So I'm gonna try that again. I didn't get it quite where I wanted to. So we'll put some fresh glue on there and really kind of get it as high up as I can and then hold it down as tightly as I can. Again, 10 to 30 seconds, the longer you hold it, the better it probably will bond in there, um, but you can also kind of smooth it down to get it in there. Okay, so for reference, it's as high up here as it can go. It kind of slants back here, which is supposed to, that's because it's at that slant. Now to do the other side, I'm again going to try to apply some good glue here, just kind of gentle back and forth. I'm trying not to leave any globs, but enough so that it's quite sticky. And then I'm just going to, again, get it lined up there. I'm gonna turn it on that side, and then I'm essentially just gonna kind of sneak my fingers in here. This is definitely the hard part, um, but try to sneak my fingers in there so I can try to hold it down or you can kind of Sorry, you can't quite see it, but hold and push here. So you want that to be really tight up here. Okay, just kind of get your fingers in there. Um, you can kind of hold it like this. If you hold it on its side, that kind of naturally pushes those sides down and together. So hopefully that's bonding in there. But what we end up with is we have this really small kind of gap here in the front, you can see there's still some space underneath, but as that then travels backwards, that's where you start to see that ramp kind of effect to it. Um, so that is getting my air scoop in there. The last step is to poke a hole in the top and then we're going to insert the paper clip. Um, so if you're coming from my class, I've already bent these paper clips for you. Uh, basically what I did is we have our kind of normal paper clip view here and I just took that outside piece and I kind of spun it to that 90 degree angle so that it's, so if I show it to you like this, we've got it here and then that 90 degrees. So to poke the hole, I'm simply going to kind of take and place my fingers kind of on the underneath side. I'm going to find the approximate middle. So if you're looking kind of side to side um, and then kind of front to back, I might try to strategically put it right here in the middle of my M, and I'm just going to kind of press on the bottom with my fingers, so it's hard to see. I'm pressing with my fingers here, 
but then I'm also taking this pen and just twisting and pressing and then it kind of just clipped through. You can see there's a little hole. So I'm going to show you from this angle now because I think it's easier. So the fins are nearest me. I'm going to take this hook part and I'm going to hook through that little hole there and then it's kind of an awkward angle. Okay, and then just slide it backwards. So I have the paper clip this way. On the reverse side, you can see that this hook, the open end of the hook is by your ramp. So the closed end of my hook is by my air scoop, the open end is by my ramp. And then the last thing I need to do is I just need to tape that down really well so it's nice and secure. So I'm gonna pull out some tape. Okay. And I might put one piece kind of going this direction. Sometimes it helps if you hold it kind of going on both sides. And then I'm going to put some pieces kind of going across here. Um, it's very important that your paper clip doesn't come loose when you're launching. Um, and since we'll be kind of pulling on it with the rubber band, we want to make sure it's nice and tight. So put a couple of those pieces on, kind of overlap them a little bit. And then once you have this secured on, you are ready to launch it. Okay. So I have about four pieces, maybe put one more small piece on there. Go back here. Okay. And then that is my air skimmer. Okay, so you can see we've got the fins back here, tall all the way at the back side. We've got a ramp from this box piece here. For our air scoop, we can see it's really close up here at this front edge, this top edge, and then it's kind of glued in there pretty solidly. If you're having trouble getting to stick, you could always add in a piece of tape here in this corner. It's kind of hard to get to. And my hook here, so the open end of the hook is by my ramp. The closed end of my hook is by my air scoop. Okay, so I hope these directions made sense. Uh, let myself or your teacher know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.